how many people have you slept with? <laughs> Y'all is crazy. another video and before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so today we got my mom here hello um so we're gonna be asking her questions so people gave me questions to ask her um pretty much on tiktok and so these are some personal questions some not so personal questions it's a mixture Ready? Yes. You get to answer them, like, truthfully. Well, if you don't want to answer, you don't have okay. to. Okay. We're going to make it easy for her. So, yeah. the first question I'm going to ask is, what was your thoughts when I started being with Jovan? Well, what, specifically about him, like, what did you, uh, like, what did you think when you met him? Um, well, I always thought Javon yeah. was a nice kid. Um, always respectful. The main thing I liked about uh Javon was that he was in church. Um, his mother and father, um, a very positive parents. Um, you know, um he was raised in a home with both of his parents, which makes a difference a lot of time. And um, he was always respectful, um, just um, and funny. I lo I love my son in law so much. It was a good decision. So, and even to this day, I still feel the same way. Okay, so that that kind of answers both um, questions because they wanted to know how you felt about him when you first met him compared to how you now. So yes. that pretty much answered both of them questions. They really cool, so yes. that's always good. Um, I'm not gonna give you no none of the spicy ones yet. Okay, next one. What was your reaction when I told you I was pregnant? Shock at first. Um, I kind of knew it's like a mother's instinct. You kind of know when something is going on with your children. Um. So, I kind of knew, but when she told me, I was, like, more shocked than anything. Um, a little bit disappointed because I did want her to um, be married first, but that came later. So, I was fine after the fact. Um, I, I was only disappointed for a little bit, and then I was happy after that. So, um, yeah, that was the best day of my life since my grandbaby born. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Okay, what's one thing, if you could, change from your past? Ooh, it's, um, it's a lot of things, actually, but what I would change is having kids so early, um, that kind of makes you, you know, delay some things in life, like, um, you know, like going to school or, um, you know, getting the job that you want because sometimes you may not have, you know, the support system as far as babysitting and stuff like that. So, um, that's one thing I, I would have waited for. Um, I was 18. When I had my first child, I, I was 17 when I got pregnant. I was still in high school. I was in my junior year. Um, I had to transfer to a maternity school. And my maternity school was downtown Chicago. So I had to go out every morning and ride the train um, to school. It was very hard, you know, especially in the winter times. And I had this big old belly. So, um, yeah, that was that's something that. I would have um, definitely waited for. Um, did you ever want to give any one of us away or abort any of us? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be um, the, oh God, I don't like to say this, but um, when I first got pregnant the first time, um, 
I, I did. I wanted to, um, to, um, have an abortion because I didn't really know too much about, you know, And that's my big brother, not me, guys. That's the big, big brother. brother. He's 30 years old. And then when I got pregnant the last time with my youngest, it was so unexpected. I was going through so much with his dad and, um, it was just a lot going on and at a, I had already had um, my boy and my girl. So I was like, you know, this third child is just going to be, you know, too much. Um, and mainly because me and the dad, we, we weren't together, you know, um, just for a little while. And then we, we broke up. So I was like, oh, my God, I got to do this all over again, you know, by myself or whatever. Um, I actually went to the doctor. I um, went to the abortion clinic. They sent me down. They showed me a video of what was going to take place if I did decide to have an abortion. And that changed my mind. I couldn't believe what I saw in that video. It frightened me. So I was like, no. So I say today that I'm glad I didn't. Um, he's 17 now. So um, God is good. A single mom of three children and... Well, technically, Come not single way. mom no more. Oh, not single mom no more. I got married uh, a year and a half ago. So, not single mom no more. I did raise them by myself. So, yeah, with the help of God because I couldn't do it all alone. <laughs> okay. And so, specifically me, you didn't have, want to have abortion or give me away. No, I was married with her, so it was a little different, um, you know, being married and things like that. And I thought, I, you know, I had the happy home, the marriage, the, you know, and I was like, okay, so now I'm going to have my little girl. So it was a little different with charisma, but the two boys, it was just, you know, kind of the situations weren't so good. Okay, now these questions are getting a little intense now. Okay, so... They, I'm going to do this one. Have you ever fought while you were pregnant? I was in high school, and this one particular girl, she would always bother me every single day. Like, she was um, supposed to be a leader of a gang, and she would just pick with me for no reason because she was jealous, and she made that known. And so one day... I left school early. I played like I was sick. I said my stomach was hurting. I lived across the street from my high school. This young lady had to pass my house every day to get to her house because she lived behind me on the next block. So um, our, our washing machine fan belt was broke. And my dad had the broke fan belt um, just laying around the house so that he can buy a new one. So I saw it and I said, oh, this is going to be my weapon today. So I left home early. I went home. I looked out the window. I knew that we got out of school at 2.30. I was like, she going to be by herself. Because when she she was around, you know, a lot of girls, she was this Miss Bad, bad Girl, you know, with her friends. So I said I was going to catch her by herself going home. And that's what I did. I was um, crazy. I was four months pregnant with my um, oldest son. But I didn't care. I was like, I'm going to get her today. So... I saw her, I ran outside, I was on the opposite side of the street from her, and I said, say what you were saying to me in school today, or whatever, and she said, what are you talking about, you know, she was calling me all kind of names early in school, I said, say what you said, I had the fan belt wrapped around my hand behind my back so she didn't see it, so I started work, walking towards her, and she didn't know what I was about to do, the look on her face was like, oh my God, what's wrong with her, but... Once I got close to her, I unraveled the fan belt, and I started beating her butt like I was her mama with the fan belt. And she couldn't do nothing but scream and holler. None of her friends were around. The other kids from the school, they were like, oh, my God, they fighting. And some of them knew that I was pregnant. Actually, my godbrother was the coach of the football team, and somebody went and told him that I was fighting. And he came down there like, sis, what you doing? Get off of her. I had her on the ground. I was stumping her. I was kicking her. Yes, I beat her butt. I was four months pregnant. <laughs> Don't y'all do that, though. I'm not encouraging that. I was just crazy. But yes, I did. You're trying to read them, low key. No, I'm not. She okay. might slap me anyway. Can't even read it. How did you lose your virginity? 
<laughs> what you mean how? Like, they saying like the situation, like where was you with who? Oh, okay. That was with how old? Okay, I was um I wanna say I was probably sixteen. It was with my oldest son's father. I had met him in eighth grade, so I was with him um all through high school. And um I remember going over to his house. And um, he had, like, because he was older than me. He's, like, a few years older than me. So, he had, like, his own apartment in the basement. And I went over there. And I, I believe, I, I think I, I don't think I spent the night. Um, I just was over there. And, like I said, he had his own uh, place in the basement. And it, one thing led to another. Um, it, it happened so fast. Um, I regretted doing it. My mom, when I got home, she, it was almost like she knew I did something. She was like, so, um, what you do? Where y'all go? What, you know, she was just like, you know, in my business, almost like she knew that I did something bad. So yeah, it was with my older son's father at his house. I'm not going to get into details of what led to it, but. No, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, it, it happened. So <laughs> how many people have you slept with? <laughs> Y'all is crazy. You don't have to answer. Maybe you could say it round. <laughs> you ain't got to answer if you don't want to. Wow. Turn it red. Y'all, these questions. Y'all get real personal. That's a uh, uh. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to bypass that one. Okay. They want to know, like, do you know, like, when you get pregnant with me? Like, what was the situation like? You know how some people, like, know when it happened or, like, y'all tried to do it or whatever the case may be. How how did you get pregnant with me, basically? Um, well, she was kind of playing because I had said by a certain age I wanted, you know, to have a little girl. By a certain time, my oldest son got, you know, a certain age or whatever. If I was married... And we were stable. Then I would go ahead and, um, you know, uh, get pregnant again. So she was she was kind of planned. Um, when I did get pregnant with her, I was so happy. I don't remember the exact day and all that stuff. But when I um, found out I was having a girl, I was like, yes. Now I could be done. You know, I have my boy and my girl. And that would be it. So, yes, yeah, she, um, she was planned. I guess that answers that. For I guess for a bonus, is there anything you want to ask me? Um. Yeah. When was the first time you had sex, and who was it with? <laughs> I already yeah. told you. No. How old were you? Like. You better not say under 13. <laughs> oh, no. A teenager. No, 14. No, no, no. I was like 15 or 16. Oh, okay. Ain't no under and who no was 13. No, I wasn't even thinking about having sex when I was. Oh, I, I know who it was, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. M. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, that's it for that. I'm not asking no more questions. Answering no more questions. <laughs> So if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this uh, channel, turn on your post notifications, and if it gets enough views and a decent amount of likes, I'm going to do a part two, but it's going to be with Jovan's mom, and I'm going to ask her the exact same questions I just asked my mom. So that's going to be crazy. So if you want to see that video, make sure you like this video, comment on this video, tell me how you liked it. Um... And yeah, and maybe I can do some extra questions with his mom as well. We love you. Love Peace. you guys. Bye. -bye.